This video is brought to you by Soccer.com, North America's largest online soccer retailer. Don't forget to use coupon code 1SR4U13 at checkout for free shipping within the U.S. on any order of $100 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com with a review of the Shock Doctor Low Profile Cleat Insoles. Now when it comes to replacement insoles for soccer cleats or football boots, whatever you want to call them, it's kind of difficult to find replacements it, just in general. Um, so the first product that I came across, and this is really the first aftermarket soccer cleat insole that I've tried out that personally I really enjoyed wearing. It actually is very, very comfortable and fits most soccer shoes, which is really, really important. Now the difficulty with a lot of replacement insoles is that the insoles that are stock on a lot of soccer shoes are just super minimal, very, very thin, and they have a very narrow shaping about them and most aftermarket insoles including the shock doctor low profile cleat insole really isn't all that minimal so when you compare it to something like the Addy zero insole right here um, or even the nike mercurial vapor 9 insole it's incredibly minimal and when you compare it side by side to something like the shock doctor insole you can definitely see that there is a significant difference in bulk thickness and just the overall shape of the insole itself. Um, of course this is kind of trimmed to fit so you can make it fit a little bit better but as far as putting something like this in a very low profile cleat um, like the Mercurial Vapor, like the Addy Zero, any of the really tight fitting soccer shoes out there, it still isn't going to be the best option um, but definitely for something like a T90 Laser, the Tiempo, the CTR, the Predators, the Nitro Charges, the Power Cats, any of the shoes that are more high volume um, this is definitely something that you might want to take a look at because it does offer not only a great fit, but it's also very, very comfortable. Now, as far as the insole itself goes, here's the packaging, by the way, if you guys just wanted to see that. It comes in basically a plastic box, gives you all the information, but we'll get that out of the way and I'll just tell you it right offhand here on the product itself. Basically, the insole is constructed of three separate layers. The top layer being an antimicrobial -micro mesh material. Basically, all that means is it's not going to stink and it's going to stay relatively clean throughout use, which is definitely important. Your middle layer here in red, that's really your shock absorbing foam. That's really what's going to provide the cushion in the insole. You have that going all the way through, as you can see, heel and forefoot. And then of course you do have a little bit of extra foam here in the heel. Just provide that little bit of extra cushioning that you wouldn't normally get from pretty much any other soccer insole out there. You can see that there is a little bit of a protruding bump here in the heel, as well as a little bit here at the base of the midfoot, just to provide that little bit of extra cushion. It's kind of an extra insert in there. And really I found to like that after wearing it for a couple hours or so. Um, as far as this black layer on the bottom, this is what they call the support cap. So it's kind of like a plastic slash foam material. It's very, very thin and it's it's designed to disperse stud pressure because it is a little bit harder and uh, it definitely does that very very well. Uh, if you're one of those people that struggles with stud pressure, something like this is definitely going to help that cause because it does have kind of a more solid base for the insole instead of just being completely one piece of soft foam. So definitely a good idea on Shock Doctor's part and something that I think a lot of companies should implement on their shoes themselves. Of course the insole itself is kind of more pre-molded to provide a little bit of support. You can see it does cut up here at the uh, instep area of the foot to provide that little bit of support for that inside arch. But this is the same reason why it doesn't work with all types of soccer shoes and I'll get into that in more detail a little bit later but you can see it does kind of rise up a little bit higher around the heel area and especially on the instep so where some soccer shoes really like to hug that part of your foot you may find some chafing issues on this particular area but if you are wearing it in, like I said a more high volume shoe like the t90 laser or something like that you're not going to have that issue at all so that's pretty much it as far as the product itself goes and we'll get into comparing it with other soccer shoe insoles currently out there on the market for the sake of comparison, I grabbed some stock insoles from some of the more popular models out there. I have an insole from the T90 Laser 4, the F50 Addy Zero, and the Mercurial Vapor 9. And you can see that in comparison to the low profile Shock Doctor insole, there is definitely a big difference in terms of the shape and the amount of support that you're going to get from the insole itself. Um, now, I grabbed the T90 Laser insole mainly because this was my previous favorite insole. It features a synthetic leather liner over top. Obviously it is foam based, relatively thin, but you do have these thick pour on inserts going throughout the heel and forefoot area that do provide some really good cushioning properties. Um, so for that reason alone, I was a really big fan of this insole, but I have to say in comparison to the Shock Doctor insole, 
this one does feel a little bit more comfortable. It definitely is more supportive with that built-in arch. And you do have that extra cushion in the heel that I was personally a really big fan of. Now you see an Addy Zero Comfort insole. This is what they consider their comfort insole. It features a synthetic suede liner over top, which is really, really soft. I like that feel. And it's pretty much a thin foam. You got a little bit of perforated foam providing some additional cushioning. But for the most part, once you wore this a couple times, it really thins out and doesn't provide all that much in the way of a soft feel when you step into your shoes. Now the Nike Mercurial Vapor 9 insole, this is a completely different story. It's probably one of the only insoles that I'm personally not a big fan of. I find that it slips around on the inside of the shoe a lot, um, but if you glue it down it does solve the problem. You can see it features a mesh liner on top, perforations all the way through, and pretty much just one thin layer of foam. It's very very thin and minimal, but for the most part in terms of comfort it really doesn't provide all that much. Now. To put a Shock Doctor insole inside of a Mercurial Vapor 9 or even an Adizio for example, you can see that the shape through the midfoot is a lot different. So is this an ideal replacement insole for a Mercurial Vapor 9? Probably not, mainly because the shoe just fits so tight. You can see that you do have all this additional extra here, extra width that wouldn't normally be in the shoe. So you may run into some issues with discomfort wearing an insole like the Shock Doctor inside of a Mercurial Vapor 9 or a synthetic Addy Zero, any kind of tighter fitting shoe. It's really designed for more high volume shoes and that's really where it's going to work and perform its best. So that's pretty much it as far as the comparison goes with other stock insoles. And I'll move on to a quick weigh in so you can see how lightweight this actually is. Given the amount of cushion and support provided by the Shock Doctor insole and just how it looks overall, you might guess that it weighs a lot more than your average soccer cleat insole and in reality it doesn't at all. So for the sake of comparison we're going to weigh in the Shock Doctor insole versus the T90 Laser insole which is going to be one of the more bulky stock insoles that you will find on a soccer shoe. So this is a trimmed down version to a size 9 in the Shock Doctor insole. We're going to throw it on the scale and you can see that they weigh in at exactly 1 ounce. So by no means heavy at all. Um, a lot of those really minimal insoles that you find from um, Nike on the Mercurial and stuff like that, those tend to weigh in at about half an ounce. So there is a little bit more weight here, but like I said, you're getting that extra cushioning for pretty much no noticeable weight on your feet, which is definitely a good thing. So we'll take that off the scale and we'll throw on the T90 Laser insole and it weighs in at 0.9 ounces. So there's a 0.1 ounce difference between this insole here, which is a stock T90 Laser insole, and the aftermarket Shock Doctor insole, which I mentioned feels a lot more cushioned and more comfortable overall, as well as adding that extra supportive element that you don't get from pretty much any insole out there currently on the market. So that's pretty much it as far as the weigh-in goes, and I'll leave you to my final thoughts. As a whole, I'm a really big fan of the Shock Doctor Low Profile Cleat Insole. It is a product that I can definitely recommend to you if you are looking for a pair of insoles to replace your current ones, or you just want something that has a more comfortable, more supportive feel. It's definitely better than any of the current insoles you're going to find on any current model soccer shoe, in my opinion. It provides better cushioning, especially in the heel and midfoot area. It's very, very supportive. And I love the idea of the support cap going across the bottom to disperse stud pressure because it really does work. Um, as far as what shoe this is good to be used in, pretty much most shoes on the market it will work with. Um, the only style of soccer shoe you probably want to avoid is any of the tighter fitting soccer shoes that generally feature thin synthetic uppers like a synthetic Addy Zero, like an MV9 from Nike for example. Um, you may run into some issues with discomfort and the insole itself is just a little bit too wide through the midfoot and heel for that particular style of tight fitting soccer shoe. But if you're wearing something with a higher volume like a Nitro Charge or a Predator LZ or a Tiempo Legend or anything like that, you're not going to have any issues with this insole at all. And overall it's definitely going to enhance the comfort and overall playing experience that you're going to have from those types of high end soccer shoes. Um, so that's pretty much it as far as my review goes guys. Like I said these are available for only $20 US. Very affordable product and it's going to last a very long time. They're available in sizes 5 to 14 so if you want to pick up a pair of these for yourself I will leave a buy it now link down below in the description. Go ahead and check it out if that does interest you at all. If you guys have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below and if you enjoyed the video be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest soccer gear. Um, all of my links to social media can be found down below in the description as well. And other than that guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, thanks for watching.